<laughs> so we meet again, Buzz Lightyear, for the last time. Hi right, guys, this is Danger Rock here. Today we're going to be looking at the Mattel Zerg figure. I think this is a really cool figure. I haven't done a review on this guy yet, or any Zerg actually, but what we're going to do is we're going to take a closer look at this guy and then we're going to compare him to some other Zerg figures that I have. But this one I actually think is really good. The height difference in them is actually really cool. It's actually one of the bigger Mattel figures. But taking a closer look at Zerg, he's got a really nice head sculpt right there. I really love his red eyes and the yellow in his teeth. Um, the lines here are actually sculpted in. They're not just painted. Uh, articulation on this guy. His arms can fully rotate, his elbows can swivel, and he does have movement in his wrists. Same thing with this arm too, you could spin it a full 360, and spin it back. He has articulation in his head, which is really good and surprising that this, this cape right here, it doesn't limit his head articulation at all, so it could fully rotate. Um, he has articulation in um, his vest. I think that's really cool. It doesn't bend or anything, it just swivels. You can actually hear it click as you're moving it. Um, but what's really cool here is at the bottom, he has these wheels, which are actually really film accurate. Uh, this little port right here is if you wanted to put them on a display stand or something. These two wheels spin right here. This one doesn't. As you can see, this one's actually just sculpted in there. But if you put them on any hard surface, he will roll. And that's really cool. Um, I really like this figure a lot. What I really like on him the most is the color. Um, one thing I wish is that his cape would have been a darker purple. I feel like that would have been more film accurate, but it's okay because we got really nice black, red, yellow, silver, and white right here on the gauntlets on his arms, which is um, really cool. And I really like the sculpt of the cape back here. You can actually see like the wrinkles and stuff in his cape. One thing that would have made this a lot cooler is if he actually came with his famous ion blaster, which he didn't, which is the same, but um, still a really good figure overall. Definitely one of the bigger Mattel figures. What we're going to do now is we're going to set this Zerg aside so we could compare him to, which in my opinion is my favorite. Uh, here we got a Disney Store Zerg. Now, I like the paint on this one a lot more. Um, this one's actually battery operated. If you push this Z right here, he has batteries right there, which he will talk and say some stuff from the movie. But I really like the face sculpt on this one a little bit more. This is a really old figure, but as you can see, his eyes are actually bigger here than that one over there. And here, even though it's just painted, it's not sculpted. If you look on his teeth, you could see the red mixed with the yellow, which is actually really cool. Um, this one has better texture, I believe, here um, for the black and his cape. And um, he does have pretty much the same articulation. His arms could move, his elbows, his wrists. This does move as well. This can rotate a full 360. This one has all three wheels at the bottom, so you could roll this one as much as you want. But what I think what makes this one so much better for me is that he does come with this ion blaster, which is really nicely detailed. Uh, this part right here is just a sticker. It doesn't move at all, but if you plug this right into his hand right there, it'll actually stay in place. So you could get this guy in some pretty nice poses like that. Setting him aside right there so you could really see the height difference between these two. And for a, another fun comparison, we got the Zerg Rock'em Sock'em Robot. 
This one's actually really cool. Has an entirely different face sculpt and body. And one thing that's noticeable is this Z right here on this cape is different, completely different compared to these two. And that's really cool. But one thing you'll notice is that this one, the inside of his cape is red. Here it's black. I believe in the movie it was red. So this one here is definitely more film accurate for me. And this one doesn't really have um, that many wrinkles in his cape. So these are all great. They're all similar but different. But for another comparison, here we got just the Zerg standard figurine right here. This one, they actually sculpted the yellow balls in his blaster, which is actually really cool. Um, he doesn't have any articulation, though. This is just a standard figurine. Here's another one right here, just without his blaster. But another thing I think you could compare him to, which is actually really cool from Mattel. Uh, this came out back in 2009, but it's the Buzz Lightyear disc launcher. If we push this button right here, it'll launch discs. And what's really cool is this Buzz right here does have his sculpted utility belt, which is really good. So what we could do is, if we display these two together, you can see the height difference between Zerg and Buzz, which I think is really cool. If you want to recreate that scene from the beginning of the movie or the end of the movie, where he's like, um, Buzz, I'll never give in. Uh, you killed my father. No, Buzz, I am your father. <laughs> yeah, that's a really fun thing to do. And this Zerg here is also taller than this Buzz. So you could display these any way you want, whichever way you want. So you shouldn't have any problem displaying these guys together. And if you can, I would definitely um, pick this guy up. If you had to pick, though, between the two of them, I would say probably get this one. Because this one comes with an ion blaster. And he has darker purple paint. So i definitely recommend him over this guy. But this isn't a bad second choice. Um, you could find these guys on eBay, Mercari, anywhere you buy your action figures. They're... They're not too expensive. They're about $20 packaged, a bit more if they're unpackaged. But you shouldn't have any trouble finding them. Uh, they're pretty easy to find. But um, you guys hit that like button. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if, I ha if you haven't already. Please turn on the notification bell so you're alerted to when I post future videos. And once we reach 500 subscribers on this channel, I will be doing a full review of my Toy Story collection so we could see more Evil Emperor Zerg, more Buzz Lightyear, more Woody, Jesse, Mr. Potato Head, Green Aliens, Bucket of Soldiers. And I will be reviewing those soon on my channel and I will be showing them off in my collection video. So stay tuned for that. And, um, uh, let me know in the comments down below what do you think of these figures, if you ever had one of these, and which one you like better. And I'll see you guys on the next video review.